thing. Joe, please, don't make this any harder than it is. <laughs> We're both in danger now. Tell me what's happening. Helen, I don't want you to push. No, don't push. Don't push. It's going to be all right. He's coming. Helen, stop pushing. He's got nothing to push. Someone tell me what's going on. Helen. Helen, no. No. Don't push. Helen. No. Helen. Helen. Doc, what's wrong? Wake up. Wake up. No. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. 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 <laughs> She is alive. You did your best. <laughs> Doctor, why do bad things happen to good people? I don't know. I, who am I to question God? And I can feel it in my bones that this is just the beginning. Started about 10 years ago with the death of a baby. After that, the enemy just sort of rooted in 
Whole town is cursed. Famine, drought, disease, poverty, failed businesses, barrenness. Hopelessness and faithlessness. So this is it. Yep. Promise, Texas. It was good to get out of Promise. Even if just for a night. Yeah. Even though your sister's kids totally drive me crazy. At least she has kids. What do you think about exploring other options? No. Ellen, no. Just stop it with that. You just gotta let that go and Move on, please. Well, that's them. You got it hard for them to accept you the way you are. He told me to bring my mat. And now I know why. This is what I'll be to them. Just a boy. A boy with a mat in a town that's lost its faith. I'm sorry, I didn't even see you until- I'm okay. I'm not hurt. Are you sure, honey? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Huh, how'd you get all the way out here in the middle of nowhere? I walked here. You walked here? The nearest town is 30 miles away. Do you live in Promise? That's where I'm going. Yes, we do. Listen, um, can we call your parents? I don't have any. Then who do we call for you? You don't need to call anyone. I'm not lost. I am Gabe. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name's Ellen, and this is Joe. Listen, uh, let's get you in the car, okay? It's hot out here. We'll get this all straightened out. I'll call Doc and Brody. Yeah, good okay. idea. Come on. <sighs> okay. You scared me to death. I didn't even see you. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's... Could have been really, really bad. Thank God. See? What? I'm just looking for hope. Huh. Long town, son. Doc says he'll meet us at his house. Okay. Sorry, I don't have a choice. Brody, please, no. It's the bank. You got seven days. Hey, Lucy, how you doing? Hey, Sheriff Brody, you catching any bad guys today? Uh, not today, honey, not today. I gotta go. The Murphy's picked up a runaway or something outside of town. I'm real sorry. Okay, Mama? We're okay, baby. Well, I don't see any bones sticking out. That's a good thing. <laughs> Doc, this is Gabe. Hello, Gabe. 
Uh, come on in. Come on inside. Yeah. It's a little, a little messy. Here we go, Gabe. Let me get you up there on that table. I'll take a look at you. Okay. Now, would you take a look at my finger? All right. Leave your head where it is. Ellen, would you mind getting him some water out of that refrigerator right over there? Of course. Yeah, don't move your head. I'm okay, really. Just saw it. Mm-hmm. All right. I think he's just a little overheated. That's all. Okay. Well, that's good news. Sheriff. Yeah. Buddy. Alan. Joe. How's he doing, Doc? Oh, he's fine. He's just a little overheated. That's all. You know, it's hot out there. Yeah. Doc treating you all right? Yes, sir. They all are. Okay, you mind if I ask you a couple questions? No, sir. Okay. Um, what's your last name? I don't have one. No last name? No, sir. You can't remember it, or? I just don't have one. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm here to help you. Okay, you don't have to be afraid to talk to me. I'm not afraid, but I'm telling you the truth. I don't have one. Look, son. Sheriff, please. This town is broken. It needs help. What? I know your struggles. The pain you are in. Let me help. And Doc, you're a great man. It wasn't your fault. God had other plans. Miss Ellen, Mr. Joe, your loss has left you both empty, angry, sad. But I need to tell you, your son is amazing. He knows you both, and now he sings with the angels. I am here to help. Please, let me. Hey, how, um, <clears throat> how could you know any of this? My time here will be short. He can stay with us. Brody, is that okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean... This is Brody. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. Uh, I gotta go, but, um, yeah, it's okay if he stays with you guys for now, and then, uh, we'll just, we'll figure this out later. I guess it's settled, then. He's gonna go stay with you. I've got a patient, Miss Vidalone, who's got a gout issue, so I'll take him home. Gabe, Gabe. Special? So are you. So am I. really hot outside. Yeah, welcome to Texas in the summer. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have any other clothes with you? No, ma'am, just this. Okay, well first I think we need to get you cleaned up. Joe? Hey, Joe? Will you fix up some PB&Js? Yeah. I'll get him cleaned up. <gasps> this is where you'll stay. It's nice. Well, look. Pretty dirty, mister. 
How about I run you a bath and I'll wash the clothes you have and then tomorrow we can go get you some new ones. Okay? Gabe? Honey, you okay in there? Yes, ma'am. I'm okay. He's not here. Took off right after I called. Did he hurt you? No, Brody. He, he didn't hurt me. It wasn't his fault. He was drinking again. <sighs> Look, you know how hard it's been. No work, no money. Where is he? Please, Brody, I just wanted you to talk to him. Please don't arrest him, not today. I won't arrest him today, but this needs to stop, Karen. Hey, he needs help. We just need out of this godforsaken town. I know that would help. <sighs> I want Chad to call me. I'm serious, Karen. If he doesn't call me, I will arrest him. will be ready in a little bit. Here, my famous PBNJ. You don't like that. PBN. J. Jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Most famous sandwich in the world. Good, I'm afraid. Three more businesses closed down this week. Folks are moving out. I know things are bad everywhere, but it just seems worse here than promised. Mr. Mayor, I'm an old man. I have seen the ups and I have seen the downs. And I'm telling you right now, we don't find a way to get water to our crops. I'm finished. 600 acres of dead earth. Huh? That's what I got to leave my kids. I know, I know, we ain't had a drop of rain in months, and why they cut us off when the lake levels got slow. I've argued with the legislators until I am blue in the face. I know, it's not your fault, Mr. Mayor. It's this town. People have just lost hope. And when people lose hope, they lose everything. Let's not lose hope. We'll try, George. Oh, I'm tired. 
This old man's going home. All right, have a good evening. Get you some rest. Hi, Cameron. What? Uh, sorry, I was just seeing if you need any help. If I need help, I'll ask. Um, okay. your clothes. Is that what you use the map for? Yes, a prayer mat. Why is that? It's a reminder that I need to talk to God. Do you? What? Talk to God. Oh, we go to church. I know that, but do you talk to God? Do you want to? I know he would love to hear from you. I wouldn't even know what to do. He knows your heart. Just talk. Like we talk. pleased. <laughs> he heard me. I felt it. Always. If we come to him in a true, authentic prayer, he will listen. I'd like to make one of these mats for myself. I think you should make them for the world. The <laughs> world? Nothing is too big for God. God created the earth, and his word should be spread throughout it. Our sewing group. We have a group of women who sew, and we can make these mats. We could even sell them. And in doing so, people will start talking to him. And that is... Most important. God will bless your work. That would really help promise. I would like to meet the town. Okay then. Let's go tell Joe. Wait, wait, wait. This is gonna be interesting. Hey, who's the new kid? Mr. Joe, don't worry about explaining me. I'm just a kid. Let's go.
Hey, Wilma. Hi there. Hey, Ellen. Joe. Where have you guys been? You're usually the first ones here. Oh, busy day to day. But better late than never, right? This is true. So who is this handsome young man? Uh, this is... Hi, I'm Gabe. <laughs> well, hi. Nice to meet you, Gabe. So, you working tonight or just having fun? A little bit of both. You know, I'm so tired of writing all these depressing stories about this town. You know, if I could just find one good human interest piece, just one, I'd have a front page story. Hello? Hello, can everyone hear me okay? We are going to have some fun tonight. We've got some great food, thanks to Mom at Mom's Cafe. And we're going to have some great music here in a little while. But right now, I want to turn it over to Pastor Ford. Pastor? Thank you, Mary. <laughs> what we're here for tonight is fellowship. Lord knows the promise has hit on some hard times. So before we begin, Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you for this town and the people in it. Bless them. Bless this town. The list of blessings we need is long, Lord. But for this moment, we just ask that you let us free of the bondage of promise. And all God's children said, Lord, you brought him here. I hope I'm around to see what you're going to do with him. <coughs> can I sit with you? Of course you can. My name's Gabe. I know. My name's Leslie. How do you know my name? I just do. What are you doing out here? I went on the way. How do you know it's gonna rain? You're here. I can't make it rain. I know. God can. You're here for Him. You're pretty awesome, Wesley. I know that too. See you later, Wesley. Bye, Gabe. Hey, there you are. I was just looking around. Yeah, and? There's not many people. No, it used to be packed. It's time. It's time for what? You'll see. Cameron? What's going on? Nothing. Jeez. I'm just trying to entertain this pathetic town. Cameron? I gotta go. Mr. Joe, may I please have your order? I can get you a fresh one. No, thank you. That one will be fine.
not better. That's not helping. I must stop. I must stop. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. She's dead. She's dead. Hoping for a little interest, please. Alan, who is gay? He is just a boy. He is more than just a boy. How you doing, Kate? I'm doing good, Mr. Joe. How about you? Well, I'm a little overwhelmed. Overwhelmed? Why? Oh. It's been crazy. Crazy? How can you say this now was crazy? Long words, I guess. Gabe, things like this, they just don't happen. I saw what you did with the bottle of water, Gabe. Cameron, she was dead. She was dead, Gabe. You said it. And now... She's not. Like I told you this morning, I'm here for a reason. I believe you. I'm here for you and Miss Ellington. I know you are. Come on, let's go home. someone to walk home in the rain. This is Brody. Brody, hi. This is Monroe. Hey, Monroe. Everything okay? I just witnessed an amazing event. What happened? Okay, Cameron, you know Pastor Ford's granddaughter? She overdosed or something. She what? Is she okay? Brody, she was dead. Dead? I saw her. But he brought her back. Uh, who, who brought her back? That little boy. D uh, Gabe? Yes, and now she seems fine. I mean, they took her to the hospital to run some tests. Brody, who is this kid? I haven't been able to find out anything yet. I was just checking my facts. I'm on my way to the hospital right now. Thanks for letting me know. If you find anything out, can you call me and let me know? Okay. I appreciate you both allowing me to stay with you. Okay, of course. I know you both have a lot of questions, but please, believe me, all will be revealed real soon. Then we will believe you. I will tell you this. What happened tonight was not done by my hands. Good morning. Are you hungry? No, ma'am. Didn't you sleep in the bed last night? I didn't sleep. Praying was more important. Oh, well, we're going to church. Are you ready? Miss Owen, there are things I need to do this morning. Well, we can't just leave you here. I won't be here.
Dave said he isn't going to church with us. Really? He wants to go around the town. Do we let him? I don't know. Um, I suppose it'd be okay. He didn't sleep last night. He prayed all night. All night? We're good people, but... I know where you're going. But are we godly? I mean, really. I think we think we are. But this whole thing with Gabe, it's, it's like we're missing that connection, you know, the, the relationship. Why don't we talk to God like we talk to one another? Joe, I don't want to just live anymore. I want to live in his light. Could that be why Gabe is here? I don't know. I don't know, but I know there's a reason why you and I are still here in Promise. There's a reason why we stuck it out, and there's a reason why we're here right now. This whole time, Ellen, we've been hoping for a change. We should have been praying for a change. This is Monroe. Miss Monroe, this is Frank Pierce from the Dallas Morning Freedom. All right, who is this? Frank Pierce. Mr. Pierce. Yes, Dallas Morning Freedom. Uh, just call me Frank, please. I read your online post this morning about... Uh, about Gabe. Yeah, Gabe. This story seems a little, um... extraordinary. No, listen, Mr. I, I mean, Frank, I assure you it's everything that it was. I saw it with my own eyes. And you're telling me this kid just showed up. As of now, that's what I know. Uh, Miss Monroe, maybe we can give your story a little traction if the facts pan out. Frank, I assure you they will. This is your story. This is your story. I'll tell you what, I'll get back to you. Maybe we can partner up on this thing? Um, that, that sounds great. I look forward to working with you. All right, keep up the good work. We'll be in touch. Okay, um, so what number? <sighs> I, I, I kid you not, Doc. That rain, it came out of nowhere. Yeah, I saw it. It was coming down in buckets. Now take a deep breath, please, George. Doc, I'm a farmer. I check the weather. I do that every day. I, there wasn't a chance of rain. I mean, that's why I'm here. I thought I was having a heart attack. You weren't having a heart attack. Your heart is as healthy as ever. <laughs> Come on. Oh, my heart will be something else. But if, if, if we could just get more rain, we, you know we might even have a crop for the first time in years. Yes, I tell you what, go get your tractor fixed, George. You're as healthy as a horse. <laughs> Somebody is. No, I, I didn't have any idea about that. All right, we'll talk later then. Goodbye. He called me last night. 
I told him to call you. He didn't call me. Brody, he's afraid. And ashamed. Karen, the drinking has to stop. I know. He was your best friend. Please just remember him for who he was. I know he can be that man again. Okay. Where is he? He's out at his parents' old shack. Out by the river. Please, Brody, just go out there as his friend, not as the law. Well, that's going to be up to him. You need a ride home? No, thanks. I'm meeting the girls after church. Okay. I'll go talk to him right now. Brody, he'll listen to you. Let's hope so. There, stranger. Good morning, Sheriff. I'm going over to Doc's. Heard last night was pretty eventful. Rain from nowhere. The girl apparently dying and then coming back. And from what I understand, you were right in the middle of all of it. I was blessed to be there. You should have seen it. All those people praying for one soul. I went to the hospital myself. After all those tests those doctors did, they couldn't find a single trace of anything in her system. Thank God for that. <laughs> I'll buy that. What, Sheriff? God didn't have anything to do with it. God doesn't exist. You just say that because you lost your wife. How do you know that? How do you know that? God didn't do this to hurt you. go on to docks. I don't know who you are, but I will find out. You will find out. And Sheriff, be careful. Be careful what? The man you're going to see right now has a gun. How's my good friend Gabe doing today? I'm doing good, Doc. How are you feeling? I'm dying, Gabe. I know. But I guess in a sense everyone dies. Right? Except for one. That's true. But I suppose not everyone truly lives. You like music, Gabe? Yes, I do. So do I.
Cameron, honey, we we don't have to go in. We can just go home. No, I, I want to go in. I liked it, but I need to go. How long before people find out who you really are? It's not me that's important. The real question is, how long? until people in this town realize who God really is. I can't wait to see what God has planned. These are difficult times, and Papa, we are. Mary. First, I wanted to tell you all how sorry I am. I have in my family, my friends, and my God. Through all of this, God did not turn his back on me. Now I'm even standing here today is a miracle. I don't, I don't know why or where it came from. I just need to believe it came from God. But the word revival, revival's on my heart. Intense, huh? It was. <sighs> Makes me even more excited that we're starting on the pair mats today. Yeah, good. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna go with the guys to help George fix his tractor. Okay? Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Good. Right. I'll see you tonight. See ya. I know. I appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Yeah. You okay? You bet. It's great to have friends like you. Absolutely. She's a strong girl. Yeah. You bet. Let's go help George, huh? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hey. So I have something different for us to do today. What do you have up your sleeve? I uh, take it we're not embroidering quilts. Not today, Gabe, honey. Prayer mats. Oh, hmm. this looks easy enough. Looks like Monroe's here with the supplies. Hey, did I miss anything? Nope. Perfect timing as always. Let's go. Ladies, ladies, just a second, please. Gabe, whom you've all met, is staying with us. He told me that these mats, he told me 
that what God really wants is to hear from his people. Promise has seen tough, tough times. Let's go to God. Let's talk to him. And maybe, not maybe, Miss Ellen, God will restore promise. Thank you. Everyone who promised needs a prayer mat. Let's get started. Where are you going? I'm not sure. Okay, be safe. This would be for the Dallas Morning Freedom. There really isn't anything to write about me. I saw what happened. I was there. There's a big difference between what you saw and what happened. Right? Don't let your story get in the way of the truth. I'm really sorry about how I acted towards you. It's okay. No, it's not. Please forgive me. Of course I forgive you. Sam, sit down. Sheriff. No, look, I, I, Sam. The only thing I'm really concerned about here is where was Cameron getting those pills? Well, I asked her. She said it wasn't from anybody in promise. Brody, this shook me to my core. I don't want this to take her future. A doctor over in Denton, he confirmed that there was nothing in her system at all. Nothing. Be straight with me here, Sam. What does your gut tell you about this Gabe kid? I really don't know. But I know one thing. Miracles are real. Come on, Sam, don't, 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 don't give me that. He's just, he's a kid. A runaway. Something. Sure. What about Cameron? As far as I'm concerned, it's over, as long as it doesn't start up again. Thank you. Better days are coming, Brody. I feel it. My best days are dead. I'm sorry, I have to leave. Doc said he'd see Lucy this evening. Take your little angel to Doc. And don't forget your prayer mat. I won't. Just a second. <coughs> Hang on. Uh, 
Hi, hi, come on in. Oh, I'm sorry, I was, I was just cleaning. I'm not quite sure how one man can make such a mess. Don't trouble yourself for us. Right. Hey, sweetheart, remember we have a little step here before you get up on the table. There, there you go. Very nice. Okay, so tell me. How have your eyes been? Have you had any pain? A little. A little. I bet your little is a lot, huh? It has been more painful. I tell you what. Let me take a look here. And then I... Yeah. I have some, I have some new eye drops that I'd like to try, if that's sure. okay. Um, why don't you lay her down? I'll go get them. Lay down, baby. All right, now, sweetheart, these are probably going to sting just a little bit as I put them in your eyes, but don't worry about that. They're supposed to. That's the medicine working, okay? One in here. All right, now. One right over here. Good girl. You're doing great. All right, now close your eyes. And you can even move your eyeballs around. Well, that's good. That makes the medicine work. You let that soak in. I'm going to take your mom over to my desk and give her some instructions. All right, you stay right here. Be right back. A friend of mine gave me these. I'm prepared to offer them to you for the same price. They were free. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Would you listen to me for a second, please? So is it true about Lucy? <sighs> yes. And I'm going to print with it. Monroe, listen to me. I don't think that's My a... deadline for the freedom is in 30 minutes. I'm running with it. Monroe. Monroe. Hello? Everybody in our sewing group got prayer mats and take a look. That's a good start. Yeah, and tomorrow we have even more people coming to help after class. Making the prayer mats is one thing. Using them is the most important. Oh, wow. I got so excited about making them that you'll do the right thing. What's that about? It's Brody. What's he doing here this late? He wants to talk to me. Let me go talk to him. Brody? Hey, Joe. Where's Gabe? I want to talk with him. Come on, Brody. What are you looking for? Well, who is he, Joe? Where are his parents? 
I mean, come on, uh, kids don't just fall from the sky and start freaking out of town. He's not freaking anybody out. He is me. He's done nothing but bless this town, as far as I can tell. Lucy can see. What? Kelly called me. She said she took Lucy to the doctor for her eyes. Somebody put their hands over her eyes and whispered in her ear to blink. Now she can see. Well, that's amazing. Brody, that's a miracle. No, it isn't. That kid is selling snake oil. And you can believe what you want to, but I guarantee you, this is not gonna turn out good. Well, I disagree. <sighs> Look, Gabe wanted you to have this. It's a prayer mat. Not me. No, no, just thanks. put it in your trunk, if nothing else. Tomorrow. I want to see him tomorrow. Ellen? Ellen? Here I am. Where's Gabe? He's in his room. What did Brody say? Brody said that Lucy went to see Doc today. <sighs> that poor thing. Yeah. She can see. She can see. <sighs> Was it Gabe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think. Uh, I'm beginning to... Look, Ellen, why don't we just ask him, okay? Why don't we just ask him who he is? I don't think so. Why not? He said it will be revealed. I think we should wait for now. When what will be revealed? I don't know. You just have to try. Okay. Remember, we're going to the church after my class. Okay. All right, have a good class. Okay. Wait, Ellen. I do love you. So much. I love you. So much. The paper, the Dallas Morning Freedom, they put my article in the paper. What does it say? Here, take a copy. I've got about 50 copies. It's a great article. It's about Gabe, the prayer mats, the rain, Lucy, all of it. It's okay, Miss Ellen. Oh, Ellen, I wouldn't have done it if Gabe didn't. I said she could. Gabe, can we do a real article on you? Gabe, are you sure? It's okay, Miss Ellen. He'll see with his own eyes the power of God. Great. Well, then I'll call you in a bit. Come on.
you staying? No, ma'am. I didn't think so. Good morning, kids. Is he an alien? No, he's not an alien. I heard he made it rain the other night. Okay, listen. Gabe is a special boy, but he's just a boy, okay? I know my days here are over. I know what you sent me here to do. He is ready if it is your will. But Lord, one more, one more, please. Someone. No, he won't. Only if you chase him will someone die. Right, enough of your voodoo psycho babble. Okay, I've had it with you. Stay out of the way! Mister, you are broken, bad, but God loves you. Here? Oh, that's my husband. 
Hold on, ma'am. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgive you. I forgive you. I love you. My friend. Ever since you got here, people have been wondering who you are. You are heaven sent. I know I'm going home, but I'm not worthy. You are worthy. The blood of Christ made sure of that for all that accept him. You did. <sighs> I'm going to take you home myself. See, you need some more purple flowers. Kids, I'll, I'll be right back. This is Brody. What? Oh, fine, I'll be right there. Hey, hey, um, you see that kid hanging around there? What's the matter, Sam? It's Doc. He passed away. Word's gonna get around pretty quick. We'll have to tell everybody to meet here tonight. Okay, good idea. I'll, I'll start calling people. Okay. I'm sorry. Is Doc really? Corner vans don't show up for nothing, Joe. Look, I want to speak to Gabe, and I want to speak to him now. Enough of this, all right? Hey, what did he do? Chad almost died in a car accident. Cameron almost OD'd, and Doc is dead. And that kid was right in the middle of all of it. Come on, Brody. You don't think that Gabe had anything to do with Doc? I'm not ruling anything out. Now, I want to see that boy. Fine. Fine, but you're wrong about that kid.
we talk to you? No, Monroe. Not now. Doc just died. I, I didn't know. It's okay, Miss Ellen. It's hot out here. Let's go inside. Is that what you want? Come in. Those are tears of joy for Doc. Let's go inside. Gabe, our paper would like to do a cover story on you. There's no story about me to be told. Well, I disagree. Hey. It's raining. Hey. Hey, you heard about Doc? Yeah. Let me get you a towel. Yeah, thank you. Joe? Hmm. This is Frank Pierce. Frank. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Mr. Pierce, I am not your story. Well, Gabe, I've been in the paper business for 20 years, and I think I know a story. It's easy to tell a story about someone else. But what about your story? What? When you got the word that your cancer has spread, you shut yourself off from the world. The fear paralyzes you. You don't have to be alone. God loves you. He will not forsake you. How do you know about my cancer? The cancer in your pancreas doesn't hurt now, but it will, badly. You know it's coming. You wake up every day wondering, will this be the day? How could you know? Who can save you, Mr. Beers? It's not me. How could you know? This is your gift. wants you. He wants to give you the greatest gift. Mr. Pierce, take it. That is your story. I want to thank everybody for being here tonight to share in this celebration of Doc's life. As I was in my office reflecting on Doc's life, this passage came to me. Verily I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life. Word game. Whatever happens, Mr. Joe, pray. What? Keep praying. 
Brody cannot hurt me. This is all your fault. Brody, stop. Hey, stop. Brody, what are you trying to prove? Are all of you so blind that you can't see what's happened since this kid has been here? That's enough, Brody. No, it isn't. Sit down. Sit down and listen. Were you with Doc when he died? Yes. And how did he die? It was his time to go home. It was his time to go home. What does that mean? Huh? Can't you see all the strange things that have been going on here since this kid got here? And he's right in the middle of all of it. Sheriff, can't you see what you're missing? Or are you lost in your own pain and anger that you can't see anything else? All these people mourning together, rejoicing together, despite their own sorrows. Is that what you care about? No, Sheriff. I care about you. God cares about you and loves you. God does not love me. You see all these horrible things happening for no apparent reason, and you try to fix them on your own, but you can't. I see beautiful, broken souls choked off by the only one who can save them. Don't you wonder why all these things keep happening? Why all these years of desolation and now revival? Isn't that as odd to you as a boy from nowhere with nothing but a mat? What is all this? An invitation. All of it. Brody, please, listen to him. Please, Brody. Who are you? I am Gabriel. not only promise, it's all over the world. It's time for revival. You can't stay. No, but I'm here to give you one last gift. Please kneel with me. <laughs> <laughs> 